lots of security around just a matter of them knowing when to move and when not to move four for no loss India after the first over not a bad start that from Mervyn Dillon it's just a matter of them trying to keep things quiet at the very beginning Basper Drakes will share the attack with Mervyn Dillon That's a fine shot, over pitched, and Ganguly has found a gap. This is a quick outfield, and the first boundary of the Indian innings. That was beautifully timed. Seemed at one point as if Cameron Coffey had a chance of cutting it off. He must have thought so as well. Got very close, but not close enough. Saurav Ganguly looked to be in good touch in the last game in Nagpur. For 300 if he had carried on. There is third man. Just a single. That camper down came into play there. Good effort again. This time it's uh, Morvan Dillon. Good work in the deep because that ball was travelling quickly. He's a tall man but he moves quickly across. 14 for no loss. That's nicely played. The third man's a little squarer, he cuts it off. So all teammates having a chat with each other on the proceedings. John Wright, Danny Morrison would have played a lot of cricket with each other. And a change of angle now. And Drake's deciding to come around the wicket to the left-hander. Drake's just walking across to Ridley Jacobs and telling him uh, I would be happy with the gully when Ganguly is on strike. He's just got a slip at the moment. 21 for no loss. Well, the batting order has kept changing right through this one-day series. Agarkar, who's there at number seven, has come in at number three in the first two matches. in the air just clearing square leg Samuel slipping and Gulli didn't time it good running very good running he's playing off the back foot but the moment he made contact the call was loud for a single this is what I was referring to earlier on when the West Indies were batting. You didn't see too much of that. Just allowing the ball to come onto the bat. No follow through, no push, just allowing the ball to come onto the bat. Taking the pace off and running the single. Now that he has come round the wicket, he's keeping the ball on off stump, but he's preventing that angle created when he goes over. The ball going away from the left hand and then giving him more room. He can't use the bowler's pace now, Ganguly, when he's playing square of the wicket on the offside as much as uh, when the bowler was bowling over the wicket. <laughs> Slow delivery, but he's picked it up well. Didn't quite time it, but he was always looking to hit straight. Which is always going to be so important, hitting straight back down the ground. Didn't time it at all. But the men that are behind the ball are not perfectly straight. They are not going to be perfectly straight. So if you hit as straight as you can, you will get away with some of these shots. Possibility of a second run. 
best of 83 against the West Indies in 21 matches so far, sort of Ganguly. Interesting to see what options Jacobs has today. There's no Hooper. Drake's continuing. Seven overs have been bowled. 40 for no loss to score. Ganguly going for the pull. Again, not quite timing it. It should get a couple of runs. So both these batsmen just uh, looking to up the tempo. Tell you more in the commentary box. Uh, with Sanjay Manjrekar and Ian Bishop, and uh, for our TV national viewers, the commentary in Hindi with Maninder Singh and Arun Lal. Thank you, Ravi. Looking to make room to play on the offside. He's played quite well, especially against Drakes. Played it wide of third man for another boundary. Now this is the type of start that India require. This is what is needed. This is one of the strong areas for Saurav Ganguly. Square at the wicket on the offside, especially both feet off the ground. Really laid into it. wasn't too wide it's just the position that Ganguly got himself into didn't bother getting onto middle stump just stayed on leg stump as a result there was the room that he needed to play that shot and again on the offside more glorious than the first one brings up the 50 for India punching of the gloves the pair is looking good at the moment uh, this is exciting well, the West Indies have tended to bowl short of the length at both batsmen and because of the shotgun goalie played the delivery before Drakes had to make the adjustment in length and I suspect Ganguly is certainly waiting for it this indicates how good a pitch this is Sanjay it really is a good pitch in there 46 balls for that first 50 that is quick and that is exactly what they need Just got a bit of glow on it, looking for the pull. Edo was gone, India 51 for no wicket. We would presume that this would be the batting order for India today. Shouldn't be any surprises in store. No Ajit Agarkar or Harbhajan Singh, that's our guess. Slow ball on the full. Yeah, well, he's trying to mix the pace up moving Dylan trying not to become too predictable to the batsman and I thought he took the defensive approach in the first couple of overs there was that leg slip in position he's gone in the air won't go all the way just the one bounce into the hoardings Ganguly is looking in good form following on his uh, good score in Nagpur well I heard Michael Holding say earlier that this is not out of India's reach and that was well spotted by Ganguly it looked like a slow delivery and he waited well both of these teams very strong in batting the bowling well, there's still some work to be done on both counts and this is why very good and again firmly struck Another beautiful boundary from Saurabh Ganguly. Well, he's saying he was obstructed from behind. And it's a good thing as well because he certainly timed it very well. Over pitching Mervyn Dillon, not getting the type of control that he would require at this point. Length not consistent enough. And Ganguly won't miss out on those boundaries coming in a rush. India well ahead at the moment after 
comparative turnover scores. Far ahead. And no wickets lost. There again, trying to give it everything. Saw the width, looking to play through the covers. Which brings another dangerous batsman on strike. So no real relief for the bowlers. No ball signal. And this is where I think Ganguly will have to be a little careful. That's good cricket. 100 comes up for India. And it's come in good time. Quite incredible. And the immense pressure the home side to get back in the series. Well, the first 50 off 46, and the second one now, just 35 deliveries. Sevog's on fire at the moment, so it's important Ganguly compliments him by picking up the ones and twos. Well, he's going for the big one, he should clear up mid-on. And he'll get a couple. I think uh, both these players have decided that they're going to have a go in the first 15 yeah. overs. Well, they just seem to be peppering all parts of the ground. Room there with some shorter deliveries. And Ganguly and Verinda Sawag really shot into the 14th over. That's well played. Another no ball. So the pressure beginning to show on the West Indies now. 30 runs coming off the last two overs. And the good thing from India's point of view, both these batsmen can hit the boundaries. So it's not that you're happy getting Sevak away from the strike. And we've got another man who's a prolific run getter in one day into one day cricket. Ball change of pace. Bad line. Another boundary, leg by signal. It's turning out to be a good little contest between the two batting sides because both sides have got talent to burn with the batting, but it's the bowling department of India and the West Indies that are struggling here in this series. As Danny, and I think that's one of the main reasons why Ganguly had no hesitation in fielding first. He realised that uh, the weak department is his bowling department. It was the same with Hooper when he won the toss in uh, Nagpur. He decided to field first straight away. Good, clean hitting this. Again, over pitching and Ganguly hitting through the line. Simply sweet. Minimum of fuss and just a little pick up and a swing of the wrists through the line of the ball. Exactly where he wanted to go. Just back over the bowler's head. Little chip shot, almost like a little sandwich. No follow through, just a little chip out of the bunker. Sevak's taken off like a fast train. I think good thing about Sevak in this innings, he was watchful in that first five overs when West Indies were bowling that line, middle and leg. He didn't want to, he didn't want to break free, he took his time. One twenty for no loss. Two for 49 from his team. That's the start in It starts off with a no ball. And a rub salt in the wound. 
He's not happy. Wrigley Jacobs acting captain today with Hooper not here. It allows Gungula to get 50. Goes to 51, really. There was only a single there. But Cameron Cuffey, he had to come a long way in from the fence. A very good 51, not out. It's been off just 52 balls with those seven boundaries. Again, a misfield. So the pressure beginning to show on the West Indies now. No surprises. West Indian uh, ground things a little bit, uh, little bit rusty at the stage. 171 required from 200 balls now. It's a run rate of 7.8. Again, good running. Two runs comfortably taken. India don't have to take the risks at this stage, so really playing it just right. Running the first run hard, always on the rook out for the second. That should be a wide. I said something about wheels coming off. And once again, a boundary of the last ball. It's all about concentration. 138 for no loss. I'm sure you heard Ravi say, marvellous entertainment. You didn't seem to think it was entertainment in the last game. Right, that. <laughs> I still stick to that uh, my team of just one. I remember seeing the great Sachin Tendulkar batting in, in test match, not looking as good as he could be. It's one fourth without loss. Saurav Ganguly, an ideal beginning to his side. Great partnership these two have put up, 140 of just 19, and they've done it in real style. It's not as though they've really been going after the bowling or taking unnecessary risks. And the required run rate now, just 5.22. That's a crowd. <laughs> They're pretty relaxed there, basking in the sunlight. That's gone. That's on all boundary. Now, what do you do about that? I thought that was a perfect delivery. On the stumps, on a length, but bang, away she goes. Just making a little bit of room for himself to open those shoulders. He's very good in his follow through of the bat on the offside, over mid off, four runs. should cut that off. Doing this very easy at the moment, India. A single wicket. That's been the problem for the West Indies. It's wickets. They've got to peg away at the wickets if they want to put any kind of breaks on this run rate. pitches are so good that these one day games may very well be decided by the toss and they are going so easily along at this point they can just forget about fours and sixes at the moment just push the ball around they only require just over four and a half runs and over Whoa, hey. this should be close Asking this time though, he is definitely asking on this occasion, Ashoka De Silva. Let's see what happens here. Not that. There we go. 
Could be close. Here comes the throw. Did it hit direct? No, he made it. If it was a direct hit, he would have been short. But by the time Jacobs could disturb the bales, he was in. One seventy-five without loss. One seventy-six without loss. That now means that these two gentlemen have tied the record partnership for the opening position for India. Offended off, but hundred to his name now, and the singles roll on. It's a hundred eighty-four without loss. On the same. Fourteen years later. He's returned the favour at the same venue. It was happening now by the fence. Now walking these singles. One nine to five without loss. In the air and straight to the fielder. Well, not straight. That would be a terrible injustice to say that it was to his right. And Chandra Paul has picked up another brilliant catch in the series. Really was. We disappointed Saurav Ganguly not to carry on. And look at the catch. It was always going away from Chandra Paul. He almost left the ground when it hit his hands, definitely. And he just held on to it. Fingertip job. Nevertheless, he held on. Ganguly is gone for 72, 196 for one.